the Italian forces along the Nile, do you think... Uh, how, how should we go about this? Because I feel like uh, Italian North Africa is kind of at a risk of getting surrounded eventually, but you do have one SS division and one Panzer division quite further, like... Far yeah, down. in ad advanced positions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I even have one more. How do you want oh. to play that? I actually have two Panzer divisions in nearby. I don't know, actually. That's a good point. We Since we butchered France, there's a patchwork of color to the left of you. Like some divisions, and they've all been isolated, more or less. So there's a bunch of British divisions just kind of randomly in my territory now. So hopefully you can you can sweep up when it comes to Algeria, for example. There's like at least four divisions that are in a little pocket there. Uh, Algeria. You see that in Algeria? Yeah, or sorry. I, was, uh, I have like Ethiopia also to take care of. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying. And, uh, I can take my, my Panzer division that is to the left in Libya to take out those three divisions that are in, in a pocket in Egypt there. And also with my divisions kind of try to push back the British because the British should have lost at least I mean, they should have lost a lot of support now, especially when the French are gone. So they yeah. can't rely on the French support network. They are now part of the German Reich. But overall, I think Africa Corps under Erwin Rommel will try to strive more westwards to reach German Reich Africa, so to speak, or German Africa. To kind of take Nigeria, Ghana and uh, Sierra Leone or whatever else. Sounds good. I will probably... I wonder how many units I will need in Algeria though. I have four divisions there. I assume the British have more. So the question is, should I send my four divisions that I have south of Alexandria? Or hang on, maybe I should just <laughs> scrap that. Should I just send the divisions that were available from France now to um, to North Africa instead? So Algeria will... Well, you can send you can, yeah, at least some of them. Because I, the I rest sort of... should probably try to fortify the border to Greece, prepare for more advancements there. Plus, you know, the four yeah. divisions that you have in in near Alexandria should definitely go down and help out as well. So pretty much no divisions are needed to be in a gar garrison kind of defensive position at the moment. Though you should probably look into getting a specialized division that is for military police. So you can patrol the areas. So like, at least put one in each state of military police. Mm -hmm. So as to reduce uh, populate or like um, yeah. the resistance of uh, yeah. of those occupied areas, but I I don't actually think they count as occupied areas now. Let's see, since you own them, you you got them in the peace deal. They are yours, by by de jure they are yours. They de facto and de jure were yours. Maybe not uh, you know the parts in, uh, not not the parts in Egypt, but Tunisia and Algeria, for example. You got them in a, in, a, in a peace deal. They are yours. Completely. Right. Uh, but can I bring your attention to something I found pretty interesting? Because I noticed that in Sardinia, for example, the airport there, there's 453 air, airplanes. <laughs> and in Piedmont, there's 1,066 airplanes. And I thought, there's no way you have that many airplanes. <laughs> you have a shitty air force. You have no airplanes. And it turns out that in Sardinia, Hungarian, Bohemian, and Romanian air, uh, airplanes are there with... All kinds of orders. And in Piedmont, there's a ton of Japanese <laughs> uh, there? close air support. There's fighters, naval bombers, tactical bombers, and so on <laughs> that are, are there to help you out. So you should be uh, thankful for all your allies for helping out I do love there. the Japanese. Well, they are, they're trying their best. They're trying their best. And we haven't really begun time yet, but I want to see where they're... Oh, in northern France we have some issues, at least I have, when it comes to airplanes. Should we also say that, by the way, we, we've had a bit of... Um, haven't been able to record as much lately, So, but we've been able to play a little bit, uh, you know, privately or whatever you want to say, and we, we did a playthrough of... or like we started one where it, we switched the seats, sort of, where I am Germany and you are Italy. And that's been kind yeah. of fun to see uh, you know, the inevitable uh, other side of uh, things and it's been going pretty well yeah better there i mean you uh, i can i me. i can admit that uh, you managed to to defeat ethiopia before i did well that's, that's... Uh, but i i've still been swearing at the damn 
the damn frontline system in this game. I still don't like it. I understand it now, but I think it's a little bit. I don't. I'm not sure if you understand it, but redundant. Probably understand it a bit better than previously. Yeah. Well, didn't take well, much. Well, should no, <laughs> not really. But you're at least winning now in in Ethiopia. But honestly, when it comes to those those kind of uh, front lines, like when it when it's like. Germany versus France or Germany versus Soviet Union or Italy versus France or whatever like one of those big conflicts yeah then making front lines is very useful because yeah. it lowers micromanagement so much but you probably like in in Africa right now you probably spend more time micromanaging those conflicts than you are you know like if you had micromanaged yourself the units you probably spend less time on doing it than if you had to readjust all these freaking front lines and do specifics because you don't really have that many units to begin with quite possibly so it's not really uh, too worth it but i think i've de deleted at least three divisions now of british infantry or british divi british people let's just say so I'm, I'm making strides here in in africa to help you out good good well i i say help you out when it's really helping me out well, help your neighbor, help yourself, whatever it's oh. called. Yeah, or help um, all of them at the same time. Günther von Kluge, do you have anyone that's really, really, really good? Can I sort them for skill? Well, I have Erik von Manstein who doesn't really have anything to do at the moment. He is really, really good. Yeah, but he's a general though. I want a really good <laughs> field marshal. I saw a um, document on eBay that was signed by Erik von Manstein. That would be quite okay. interesting to own. <laughs> I like how what you what you were um, interested by in that sentence was eBay. Eh? Well, it seems sort of out of left field. What can I say? Did it? Oh, like, and... I didn't really expect. Oh, signed on eBay. I mean, okay. <laughs> well, what can't you find on eBay? This is almost like a promotion well, for plenty eBay. Of things. Oh eBay. God, I'm being invaded. Uh, who will take care of this? I wonder. Bok army will will take care of it. Amsterdam has been freed. This is not acceptable. So Bok, get on it. Cancel, cancel those units out. Don't let them go any further. Gerrit von Runstedt, however, I think I will kind of uh, assimilate these units into into Gunther von Kluge and then replace Gunther von Kluge with Gerrit von Runstedt. It seems the easiest way to go about this, and then send all these troops to the front line versus the Soviet Union. I already have some units there on the Walter model, but I think even those divisions, which are Hungarian, will uh, join Gerd von Rundstedt as well. So 99 divisions of Gerd von Rundstedt. That's gonna be. It's gonna count for something. That's quite a lot. Don't you think so? 99 divisions. How many did you have in total, did you say? Uh, I have about 169, so it's the majority of my army. That is a lot. I mean, you have double of what I have, pretty much, which is too, you know, surprising given your faction leader and everything. But I uh, should probably have some more units. Yeah, and I'm being. Wait, I'm not really winning in Benelux Arena. How many airplanes do I have? Like, where the hell are all my fighters? Do I not produce any fighters at all? Am I really lost all of the fighters that I that I have at my disposal? Oh, well, kind of. I kind of have. <laughs> I like how you Like, surprised. I don't really produce many air fighters at all. It's devastating. This is a devastating loss. So, yeah, the British are kind of dominating me at air, which is far from brilliant. Let's just say. Plus, we're gonna need to retake Amsterdam now from the damn British. But I think uh, Fedor von Bock can manage that quite nicely. Meanwhile, I will see okay, 69, 67 divisions of the Infanterie Division. And this is pretty strong, I think, hopefully. Maybe add some more artillery or perhaps uh, support anti tank. That seems like a good, good thing to add up. Oh, no. 
to do that. Mm, I have low manpower. What kind of... Oh, I only have partial mobilization. See, this is my first Horse of Iron playthrough that we're playing here. Um, like, you know, since we started this, I've obviously played it a lot more. Um, but I've, I've done so many mistakes, I don't know where to begin to correct them. Uh, I think war economy will be good for now. Well, I mean... Well, yeah, war economy is, is really good. Yeah. Because, like... <clears throat> Um, well, whatever is the biggest one called? Total mobilization? Total mobilization. Yeah. I, I think that one is more for like when you're like really out of options, kind of. Yeah, plus it reduces the recruitable population by minus 3%. So, or All right. It reduces by 3%. Reduces by minus 3% would probably be plus 3% if I'm not like uh, double negative. I think that works in that case too. I don't know. Ignore me. Math was never a good. A good thing, not a good subject. I was never good at it. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, should we say what we used to do when we had math like, lessons in school? <laughs> we drew maps. Yeah, we, we drew used to play. Maps of Europe and played Medieval 2 Total War and uh, Rome Total War. Yeah. And uh, gave status reports on uh, the campaign last night. Yeah. Uh, that was amazing, very constructive. amazing use of time. Yeah. Yeah. And meanwhile, we we stress the teachers to explain why we would need maths later in life, and they would just yeah. sigh. <laughs> and now we can respond to that. Who's laughing sort of. now? Well, okay, they the are. Teacher. <laughs> yeah, probably the teacher. Uh, let's see. Fuck, fuck a wolf. There we go. I need to produce even more of those sons of bitches. I mean, curr currently with five factories they only produce 3.11 per month per month it's ludicrous oh, america still wants to sell me some oil and i'll happily accept that that's interesting actually and siam i've maxed out there soviet union i maxed out oh vichy france still wants to give me some of their stuff i appreciate it but now I need even more oil. I just got done with oil. What the hell? And I get so many factories available. What the hell? Okay, now I need even more. Come on! Seriously. Stop it. And expedition forces from Japan. They want to send 26 divisions. I say no, you need them. You haven't won against China yet. Probably should get on that first before giving your divisions to me. And I like... Uh, oh, no, they retreated with their Air Force. You're pretty much alone now. Oh. Uh, Air Force, right. What do I have against me here? Panzerkampfwagen 4. Seems like a good thing to develop. I'm considering upgrading my Panzer divisions to use those rather than light tanks. Which seems like a reasonable thing. Maybe, uh, let's see, SS Division. Can I get some... No, I can't. I could add, like, lights. No, wait, that doesn't work either. Okay, never mind then. No national focus set up. Well, we have war with the USSR or alliance with USSR. How about we go with alliance with the U... Wait! No, I mean alliance with Spain. <laughs> That's a completely different thing. Yeah, I was like, USSR? Huh? No, 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 no. No alliance with those bastards. I stand for 92% of the total war participation against Britain. You stand for 2%. Stand for 2%. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this, this conflict down here. You should inform me that we're at war. Yeah, I mean, Africa, basically I have like three fronts in Africa, which is pretty interesting. Oh, almost more than that. Uh, Wait, I have more divisions over here. They have not been sent yet. Okay, so we can send them to German Africa. You should probably also try to, for, you know, afterwards when we're done with the British. <laughs> yeah. You should, you know that you're landed in Sicily, right? What? No, I didn't. Uh, interesting. This is, uh, you know, 
I did not know that they were, were landing there. That, this is not something that I should point out to you. Yeah, way. but uh, it's. it's I, I think I remember that happening, but um, it was a rough night. No, but um, I... Uh, uh, because when, it's when been the, a long time since we recorded this, but yeah, sure, I should have noticed. Well, it could have happened during this recording, by all means. I, I mean, don't. I I seem to recall it being like that before, but maybe a viewer will point it out and laugh at us, mainly well, me. By all means, by all by all rights, they should laugh at you. I mean, uh, I mean, you're probably walking there, so I will walk down with my with my poor Africa core. I mean, these SS divisions really need to be upgraded. They are not performing very well. They are a disappointment. A big one at that. Uh, but I think I will try to help you out by cutting off British forces down in the south. Because the mission right now is kind of just to annihilate the British divisions. I'm having a so nice encirclement in Algeria now. Yeah, I noticed that. As See? soon as you, you pretty much take that out and, and you're... You have killed them. Yes. How many have the British lost in this war so far? 230,000. I have lost 91,000 and you have lost 29. 29,000 people for 2% of the war effort. Uh, not sure that's brilliant, but hey. Yeah, but most I'll of the war effort comes from occupation from my side due to Poland being occupied. Ah, right. Nice headway, so, by the way, you've made with your tanks there. Yeah, in, I'll, uh, I'll be <laughs> sorry, I had to specify where. Um, in kind of, oh, what's that country? Well, on our close to Ethiopia. What, what's so that Sudan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, South Sudan, somewhere like that. Or is it North Sudan? I don't know. <laughs> well, it will probably be North Sudan. I think, because that area is called Khartoum, and uh, Khartoum is the capital of Sudan. I think. No, it's gotta be. I hope you're wrong so I look a bit better. But no matter how wrong I am, you will never look better. Uh, I think I will. You know, if we're I'm too, sure you, if we're two idiots in one boat, uh, you know, I'm gonna look a little bit better at least. Alright, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> okay, I need to take that. Wait, do I have divisions that are not assigned to anything? Oh, the Austrian army. Oh yeah, the Austrian army, the disappointing one. Oh, I see. They're here. <laughs> oh, interesting. The British landed in Livorno as well, but oh, I don't think that's going too well for them. No. I mean, they will try to land as much as possible, uh, but you... I mean, beyond securing all of uh, Africa and stuff, we really should look into getting Malta and Cyprus and stuff like that. Yeah. But they have taken Florence. That's like that should make it like a massive PR loss for you. Like everyone should point out to Mussolini, what the hell? You lost us Florence. They could wal waltz in there. No, no opposition at all. Public relations. Yes, that's my biggest concern right now. I need to update my media profile. Well, uh, you really should. Oh, I'm facing a lot of Australians here yeah, in the south. Trunstedt. Wait, it's not all divisions stuck there. Has no orders. I gave you an order, a specific order, in fact. The order was to go over here and do your work. Do your thing. Yeah, all of his units should be there. Suddenly, like, it's only parts that have moved to the eastern front. Algeria is pretty secured now, by the way. Algeria is secured. Well, that's good. We have uh, we have work to do. Yes, I will send these divisions. Uh, I will send nine divisions down to the Sudan front. We can call it. Yeah, we have uh, British Raj that has arrived with some units in Africa. Uh -huh. Aha. British Raj, which is parachutes. fighting against Japan. Well, this will soon. See United Kingdom over there. I mean, I'm tempted to go to Saudi Arabia and stuff, but they don't really have that many resources. Yeah, we were tipped off, I think, to to go for the Iraq. East. Iraq will give give a lot of of oil at least, at least 32 oil. It's not the most, but that's gonna help. 
Yeah, it does. It does. And uh, the question is, who will lead that charge? Will you or will I? I could uh, see myself leading it. <laughs> well, I, I could see it too, but the question is, will it be a good sight? Will it be something that we'll be happy to see? After Ethiopia, who knows? <laughs> <laughs>